Hey guys, welcome to Tech Rovers. So today we're going to be seeing what are the reasons why this pop-up comes while you check whether you can download Windows 11 into your PC. So here itself it says the processor is that it's not supported. So this is the first reason why it shows. It's because uh, Windows 11 is only supported by uh, Intel 8th gen and higher processors and few other uh, latest processors and uh, AMD uh, 2000 series and higher processor and other Athlon and other processors. I'll I'll put these links in the description. You can check it out whether uh, by uh, what processors are supported, whether your processor supported or not, and. If it is not supported, you can still install if all the requirements are satisfied. It, uh, Windows will just say that it's not recommended, but you can install it. So what's the next reason? Next reason is that TPM is not uh, TPM version is not 2.0. So what is TPM? It's trusted platform module. So how to check what version or is it there in your PC or what? So let's go search tpm.msc and click enter. It's going to open and this is the tpm management on local computer. So it shows here that it's ready to use and it's version 2.0. So my PC supports this. Uh, but it shows uh, this pop-up because my processor is a 7 gen processor so it's, it's not listed out in the supported uh, processors list so um, I, uh, if there's an error in this uh, application it shows an error that uh, it'll, it'll itself say it's either not there in your computer or it's not enabled in your BIOS so we're going to show how to enable it in the BIOS uh, in a few uh, in few minutes. Now there's one more reason that uh, that this pop up might come. It is because uh, either it's it's not uh, secure boot mode is not enabled in your BIOS or it's not there in your PC. Most probably it's not enabled in your BIOS because most of the recent PCs it's there but a pretty old uh, PC might not have this. It's the same case with the uh, TPM module. So let's just check how to check uh, if the secure boot is enabled in your PC. So you search for uh, system, uh, system info and get into it. And here we need to go to BIOS mode it should be UEFI mode and down here secure boot state it should be on then yeah all the other requirements are there and I guess you can download Windows 11 into your PC but I'm not assuring that yes you can there might be some other specs or something that which might not allow but these are the ones which I know which might not uh, allow you to download Windows 11. So let's see how to change it if it's not enabled and is, if it's disabled in your BIOS. Now let's shut this PC down and I'll show you how to get into your BIOS. I have a HP PC here. It's a HP Pavilion 2016 model. Let's just shut this PC down first. This might take some time because I have a HDD inside this, not an SSD. So let's fast forward it. So guys, now the PC is shut down. We're gonna uh, switch on the PC and click on F10, function 10. In HP PCs it's function 10. To open the BIOS as soon as you click the power button you need to click the function 
and for different uh, different uh, PCs there are gonna be a different function to click to open the BIOS you can go check uh, your PC um, um, manuals to find it out or you can just search on Google so I'm gonna switch this on and click on F10 continuously click so it shows down and now I'm in so this is quite old 2016 model so the BIOS looks a bit uh, old looking so now I'm gonna go to security to check the uh, trust pla trusted platform module it's a security module um, so here you go down uh, TPM device is available uh, you can hide it here but it might be hidden so you need to enable it and it's already enabled for me that's why it showed uh, it's ready to use in the windows next here TPM state state should also be enabled and not disabled you need to switch it back to enabled so it shows the same thing in, uh, the, that it's ready to use so it's already enabled here and now this is how to uh, turn on your TPM, uh, TPM on your device so next thing is that we're gonna check how to uh, change the boot mode to secure boot mode um, now we go to uh, see uh, the BIOS might be a different a different for you but will most probably in be, uh, be in the uh, boot options here in this it's there in system uh, configuration so click on it and you can see here legacy support is disabled this is the legacy support is uh, the boot mode it's disabled so that's why it's showing U uh, E F I mode so uh, it should be disabled and next secure boot mode this should be enabled here as you can see it's enabled over here um, it should be enabled so this is how you can change it in your BIOS and one thing guys this is uh, my PC's BIOS and it's a uh, four to five years old your PC's BIOS might be easy and simple to use user friendly or might be even uh, non user friendly to use according to the manufacturer according to the year it's uh, manufactured and lot more so it, it's, more, it's probably uh, gonna be in the boot options and the TPM settings should be most probably in the secure uh, tab of your uh, of your BIOS so guys this is how you can change it now I'm gonna uh, for saving down it should be F10 in my BIOS it's F10 most probably it's gonna be F10 so after changing it you need to press F10 to save it I'm not a uh, save and exit I've not changed anything though but yeah I'm just gonna click and it's gonna boot back up to the Windows 10 so guys after you have done this if this is the reason why it's showing that you can't run Windows 11 it should now show in this box that you can run Windows 11 mine is a 7th gen processor that's why it's not showing so hope that this uh, these solutions helped you like this video if you liked it subscribe for more videos like this and stay tuned for next videos thank you guys